Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to mark up object with Creo View, how to work with annotation and measurements. In previous tutorial we have learned how to understand the home tab and working with the attributes. Like I mentioned, today we would like to focus on the markup, so I will jump into markup and over here, the first of all is that it's possible to create a node. The node, if you will place directly, you can place the node and specify the node and, for example, define the date and so on. So you can comment as you want and you can specify the formats and change. For example, it will be rectangle, it will be background color. So it's up to you. You can really easy to transform and use the node. You can see that if I will write now the manipulate with the 3D model, the node is always movable. Yeah, so you can spin and it's fine. Then we have a second option that is possible to node with leader. Same is that you can specify the leader type. So select the object where the arrow that came from and then you will specify the second node here so it's up to you you can specify more information and for example change the type of the bolt here so you can specify your custom node you can insert the attributes or you can again jump to the formats and specify color lines and and line width and so on so for example we can change it a little bit and again, if you will spin the model, yeah, the node is automatically attached to geometry. It working same with the lead, lead on the lines, yes. Yeah? So for example, I'd like to add it here, so you can see that system automatically show me necessary information. If you would like to focus on some geometry, it's really good. You can specify the shape, and then with double click, you can change the color transparency and it's really easy the manipulation and again you can add some notes and so on and if you would like to focus on some additional information you can draw by hand some information and again place the note over here i'd like to add some information that if you are using the creo view express this annotation is not possible to save with the model but if you are using the full functionality with Windchill, you can save the annotation and share then by a Windchill system to another users. Okay, if you would like to delete these nodes, it's so easy. You can simply to select necessary object one by one, for example, and delete. Again, if I will double click left mouse button, the system automatically to center my object. So it was quick explanation how to work with annotation and I will jump to the measurements. So if, for example, if we would like to speak about the summary, it's really easy because you can select the summary button and it's the same logic as in Creo. So for example, if I will select the frame, the system will make a comment for me and I can see the name and for example, the area. If you would like to leave these measurements on 3D, you can mark this icon, apply the measurements to the view, and then the system will leave the information there. Again, you can delete if necessary. The length is really easy yeah, to use. So I will select the length and what does it mean? I will expand this menu and you will see what I select. But first of all, be careful because right now you are in the assembly so the system first of all would like to ask you or what is necessary to measure so for example i like to measure frame and then from the frame i like to select the edge and then the length of this edge is specified you can see right now the system count in millimeters because over here on right bottom corner is possible to set the custom units. If I will double click, you can see how the system, the units calculate from the model, for example. And again, if I will close, I don't want to see the measurement so I can cancel. So length was really easy. 
select length, select model and select reference. It's a really same for the diameter. Yeah? We can directly jump into diameter. And for example, from this 3D model, I'd like to make the diameter of the surface. Yeah, so you can select surface or you can select edge. In the smart filter, yeah, you can see that you can select edge, faces and so on. So for now I'm using the smart filter, but if you would like to directly select the faces, you can select and system will allow to you only the face. Yeah. So again, if you will select diameter from this 3D model, for example, from this face, and this edge so you can see that system you need to specify into system directly what you would like to measure for example the diameter of the circle what is really nice what i like is that you can move this node yeah so it's perfect because sometimes you don't want to see these a note from the measurements directly in the 3D of the model and so you can move this note or you can specify the orientation if I will mark that I'd like to see it yeah so I will apply measurements and I will close right now you can see that it's still possible to see and I can understand what I measure or if I will select you can again manipulate yeah so it's really nice, I like it. And for example, if we will focus on the angle, again, from the frame, I like to select the first reference, for example, surface, and then with control button, I will select the another object and with control button, the surface from the impeller. And then system show me the angle between two objects between two different surfaces. Yes, yeah, so one more time, select measurements, select object, select face or edge, and then with control button, select second object and second reference and system will put it here. Yeah, again, you can delete or you can confirm. If we would like to focus on the distance, again, it's the same logic. So for example, we would like to measure distance between two, three objects. Yeah. So for example, I like to select distance from this back surface. So select object, select surface. Yeah. And then continue with control button. For example, I'd like to measure between surface and frame. So control button and then surface. Right now you can see the system will measure the shortened distance and over here is the projection type so i can select the projection and the system will write to me the projection and you can use the global coordinate system or you can use the projection to select the surface or selected edge yeah so in the it depend what you will select and system will show you the projection curves and so on so Please try to play with this information and everything what you will create. You can leave it, you can save it and you have all information. And last but not least is the area. But I think that is really easy because you can select only the component and the system will measure the area or selected area. Yeah, so it's nice and really quick. So in this example and this video tutorial you have seen how it's possible to make the annotation and measurements with Creo View. Stay tuned and like the video and share it with your colleagues. Bye bye. Vladimir.